despite one thing about each crew. I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna do yourself, but I don't wanna do that. No offense. I'm gonna skip that because you're home. If you don't, I'm not gonna say well, you don't describe you it. Well, look, we need to describe like they live in the crazy crew. One thing you have to say about each of them, I say buck wild, raw finesse, OC, big up, passed away, fragile, diamond. One ring. word describing that person and digging in the crate because yes. you got such a story history and y'all family Pretty tree true. is so big. Right. So describing your- I'll be your... here all day with that. No, just one, one word. word. Low one finesse. word. I read the low finesse. I know you Low finesse. Say one it. word. Quick. We're going to bum bum bum. We're going to kill it. Damn. Um, How about you? About me? One oh, word about your hip hop here. One word. I would say witty. Me oh, personally? Witty. Humble. Because <laughs> the, the resume you got is super humble. I'm going to humble. I would say multi-dimensional. Beautiful. Buck wow. yeah. I love Buck That's my man. Uh, I say dedicated. I like that word, dedicated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dedicated. That's what Buck Wow? Yeah. OC. Author, narrator. Big F. That's the piece, too. Flamboyant. <laughs> uh, <coughs> That joke. Lyrically savvy, I want to say with um, uh, Big Al. Uh, that joke. Mm, that's a good one. Um, damn, what's the word? Um, I was to some shit one day. He said, I think I'm more cheese than a janitor. Uh, yeah. Uh, Fuck me up. Sorry. Fat Joe uh, is reinventive. He's evolved. I agree with that. He yeah, me, man, he could keep reinventing himself. Showbiz and AG. Um, AG is a, a lyrical alien. Um, show is, um, man, how do you say, uh, damn, low key but respected. Mm. Fire. Now, this is going to be tough because you, you got to be biased you love all of them. Who's the best MC out the crew? I know the answer. Ooh, and you forgot it. Diamond. Diamond's abstract. You said Diamond D, but but I'm gonna be honest with you. I think you've been nice. I think you've been all. So that's. <laughs> but Diamond, Diamond D nasty. Yeah, yeah Diamond. I like that. Uh, sorry, Diamond D could produce. Diamond could run. But I don't think he's gonna You haven't heard A J in a while. I know what it is. You haven't heard. He's he's he locked. I got. I'm oh, gonna look. she's a beast. I just oh, see that. I just see the cut. You still a beast. It, you came in on the concert right quick and flowed, and then boom, everybody gave it right is, back to him. Ridiculous. Everybody, everybody, see, man, what, what makes digging in the crates incredible? And I, I'll say this, it ain't, it ain't being arrogant. There, is, there will never be a crew like digging in the crates, ever. And I'm going to explain to you why. I got a crew, but we'll let you go. I got a crew. Though. Nah, I ain't no I, I, crew. I bet you I give you a crew. And I bet you, I bet you. I bet you, you know, you're going to battle me. I'm I'm a, a, yeah, let's, let's, you let's you make me a crew. crew and I, I got one crew and, and I'm only. Only one crew. Only one crew. Okay. Wu-Tang I know you're going to say Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang Clay. Wu-Tang Clay. And Wu-Tang. Yeah, don't make this crazy. Wu-Tang is crazy, right? All right. All around. And that one producer. That's what I was about to say. you going to kill See, now. It's not true. They don't have one. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. You know, got the view? But I thought Prince did all the work they said. I know more, and that, that was at the very beginning. Well, you got all the guys to get busy on the machine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now, you got to think of it like this. If you say Buck, Show, Me, Diamond, our discography is artists and producers. Who produced out there besides Diamond, me and you? Huh? Oh, AG, they produce? Show and, and yeah. Buck. Oh, they, I know Buck, 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 I know Buck. Story to tell? Buck, Buck and produce, I know that, I'm sorry. I know um, so many, I, That's what Show do. I know you produce. Like, Don like, D produce. And Buck what? Sure. But and I know Show okay. produce like that. Yes. Yes. I don't really know what I mean. Sound of the police. You know I don't like the Sound of the police. Sound of the police. Oh, wow. Okay, so now lyrically, okay, that's where, that's where we're going to go back and forth lyrically, but my whole crew is nice if you say O.C., A.G., me, Diamond, Big L. Niggas is all nice, but as a whole of being multidimensional, Ain't no crew fucking with us, most. And the funny shit is, I will keep it real with y'all. 
Kylie got me because I ain't gonna lie, Kylie. I always throw RZA producer. But everything. then again, you gotta think not only of that, you gotta think of the influence that DITC has. Oh my God, family baby. tree. No, no. So now you gotta go with Terra Squad mm. with Big Pun and and Remy, and then you gotta also understand that mm. L inspired like the whole that whole Harlem shit. Let's go there, right? When Harlem was popping, you had Dougie Fresh, Slick Rick. No, you had Dougie Fresh, Kumo D, Raw Bass, mm. and Rex in effect. Mm. When when Harlem was popping, that's what was going on. When L came, that changed the whole dynamics. That's when you got Big L and you got McGruff and that Man, whole Harlem Ron, shit Tim Jones, evolved. Mace. So if it wasn't no Big L, would we still be looking at Harlem the same or would these other artists still be the dominant factor? Would it be Raw Bass and, and Dougie Fresh and Kumo D and, you know. Okay. So when you look at, like I said, the influence, it ain't just us as a crew, the influence that... Well, that's a good argument, what you said, because you know I'm saying Wu-Tang. Both great crews, though. You know? Oh, yeah. Legendary I mean, people, y'all are legends. The love I got for his two crews that I love to death, and that's Wu Tang and that's the Locks. Oh. And I got one more group I don't talk about a lot, but they from Long Island, EP and Get Serious. Oh, yeah. They, 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 they killed the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so now. But they still you, only had two producers. They had Parrish and they had Eric. Eric, yeah. Eric, yeah, yeah. Everybody else was nasty MC. Yeah, that's but, what they had. but that was it. But then again, see, once again, now. I just thought about it. You got my man OG. You got um, Easy LP. All right. Because coming up, it was me, Buck, Easy LP, and OG. We used to go digging besides Diamond and Show. Now, when you talk about Easy LP, his first record he did was Get Money. You fuck with Ron G? Huh? Yeah, I fuck with Ron G. But, you know, when you think of Easy LP with Get Money, if you think of. The G Depp shit. Okay. If you think of the Capone and Noriega shit. Y'all like it. You know, so is you know. <laughs> so, so, Maxson, so what do you wish you had known that you know now when the whole crew is together? Like, what do you wish you had known that you know now that you could have said back then when you're all together killing the game? Well, it's hard to do that because you learn everything from experience. So. The experience I got now, the way I'd approach the game and a lot of things I did, it was we was just learning. It was organic. Like you gotta understand when I was making records, fucking verses on 40, 50 bar verses on a record. No, nigga, they told me, look, slow down. Put 12 bars here, 16 here. I've probably been on eight albums right now. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's that's really understanding the business of music. That's all it is. It's, the, it's, it's cool to understand the art of music, but the business is a whole different, Way different schematic. I agree. When's the first time you laid eyes on Fat Joe? When I grew up.